Today I'm going to take you through a 20 minute standing only dumbbell arm workout that you can do as a follow along with me using just one pair of dumbbells. For this workout, I'll be using 10 kilos, that's 22 pounds per dumbbell, but make do with what you've got and what's right for you. We're going to kick off the workout with a very brief body weight warm up before we get into the main dumbbell section. This is going to consist of four exercises. 40 seconds each, linking one straight into the other for just one round. Nice simple start, we're gonna circle the wrists, 20 seconds one way and then 20 seconds back the other way. So nice big circles. and change direction. Next up, we're gonna do some arm circles. Again, we're gonna do 20 seconds one way, 20 seconds the other way. and change direction. Next, we're gonna warm the elbows up, doing some pronation and supination. So start your hands down like this, and up, pronate, back down, turn back forward. So you're doing maximum rotation you can. I'm gonna spread the fingers out, stretching out the hands a bit as well. Try and keep the elbows tucked in nice and tight when you pronate. Get that maximum rotation you can, especially on that external rotation as you turn your palms forwards. Okay, now we're gonna do some over-under. So one arm's going over, one arm is going under. Not my most flexible movement, but I'm not gonna get more flexible at it by skipping it. So I'm just getting a little tricep stretch on that top arm, and a little bit of a front shoulder stretch on that lower arm. Great job, okay, so grab one pair of dumbbells. We're gonna do five exercises, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off for three rounds in total for this workout. I recommend grabbing a pair of dumbbells that you can easily bicep curl for 15 reps because you're gonna get more tired as the sets add up. We're gonna start off with something called an isometric hold, alternating hammer curl. So if you pick your dumbbells up, we're gonna hammer curl both of them to the top and then we're gonna do alternating drops. So whilst one arm holds an isometric contraction, that just means a contraction with no lengthening or shortening, the other one's gonna drop down. You want forearms just sloping slightly above parallel to the floor, squeezing that gap between the forearm and bicep the whole time minimizing any swing into the body. That wasn't too bad, but these sets are gonna add up as the workout goes on. Okay, next we're gonna do a single dumbbell behind head tricep extension. So we're looking for a nice deep stretch behind your head. So dropping the dumbbell down and then extending up to straight. Try not to let the elbows flare out too wide.
Next, back to a bicep variation. We're gonna do something called a Zotman curl. It's gonna be really similar to that pronate, supinate warm-up exercise you did. So pick your dumbbells up, start off your palms forwards. Curl to the top, pronate, and then reverse curl back down. Quick switch at the bottom and repeat. So you're curling up and then down. So palms up on the way up, switch it over, palms down on the way down. Try and make sure you're not chicken winging your elbows out to the side as you go into that overhand reverse grip position. Minimize the body movement, keeping it nice and strict with the curl. Shake the arms off in between sets. Okay, next we're gonna do a jammer overhead press. So if you haven't got hexagonal dumbbells, just hold the dumbbells close together. I'm gonna to start them off at your chest. I'm gonna press overhead. So we've got a nice narrow, neutral grip on the dumbbells. If you've got hexagonal dumbbells, you can touch them together. If you find you've got iron dumbbells and they're slipping around, just hold them neutral and narrow, but they don't have to be touching. Keep the elbows tucked in fairly tight, emphasizing the triceps. Now we're just going into a nice classic curl for the fifth exercise. So your palms are gonna be facing forwards the whole time. And we're gonna keep them like that, maximizing the squeeze of the bicep into a full lengthened position each time. Squeeze and back down. Try and really rotate the dumbbells as you come up. Should be twisting your little fingers in and around. Elbows stay tucked in. Well done. Okay, so we need to give the arms a rest now. So you've got 40 seconds off. There's the first round done. We've got three rounds in total in this workout, this dumbbell section. That's pretty brutal by the end. That third round, it's gonna be very tough to finish. We're onto that overhead tricep extension, single dumbbell.
You might find you can use a slightly heavier weight for that one, and if you've got a selection, feel free to grab a different one. But if you're repping nice and controlled and maybe a slightly faster pace, I'm sure you can get that to feel difficult. Now we're on to the Zotman curls, which will definitely feel hard. Always finish your rep. We've got that close neutral grip overhead press. And if you can, jamming them together. Elbows staying in fairly tight. If you want to take your training to a new level, consider joining my TPT virtual studio. This members area gives you exclusive access to an extensive follow along video library not available on YouTube. It also includes written workout plans you can do at your own pace, taking the guesswork out of training and optimizing your results. Learn to fuel your body for success with nutrition resources from meal plans to dietary strategies that work. Save yourself from expensive gym memberships long travel times and average results by joining the virtual studio. To check it out, follow the link in this video's description after your workout. All right, let's get ready for that final round.
two more sets to go and then that'll be the arm workout complete. Get ready for that final set. If you've got any energy left in the arms, now's the time to use it up. Controlling the way down. Minimize the body movement. So you're gonna brace the core. Maybe unlock your knees slightly. And that's it. Thanks so much for joining me. Let me know in the comments below, how did you find that and where in the world are you following along from? I do love to hear that. Here's a quick upper body cool down stretch if you wanna do that now. And here's another workout if you fancy continuing this. See you again soon for another video.